What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Chud's Barbecue. My name is Bradley Robinson. And today, I'm gonna show you how I made these. Beautiful, barky, smoky, saucy, delicious beef rib burn-ins. Coming up. When it comes to making burn ends, we're typically aiming for the toughest cuts of meat we can find. And that's because they're full of connective tissue that when cooked properly break down into that melty, gelatinous, buttery, tender bite that we're all looking for out of a burn end. And for that reason, that's why fatty brisket is typically used or why the beef cheeks we did a couple weeks back worked out really well. But the other day I was at Costco and I saw a cut that I've been wanting to try for a long time and that is the boneless beef rib. As you know, the beef rib is a really tough cut. Typically it's braised down to make it really tender. Or when you throw it on the smoker, it comes out very similar to brisket on a bone. So, that being said, today we're going to try and make some beef rib burn ends. It is going to be delicious. This video is brought to you by Dalstrong Knives. And if you're in the market to add some new blades to your collection, Dalstrong has got you covered no matter what style or price range you're looking for. While Dalstrong does keep it classic with certain shapes like this 10 inch chef's knife or the Santoku or cleavers or boning knives, they also like to get real creative with their blade shapes with certain knives like the Pitmaster knife. This thing's got a bottle opener included and a little forky fork right on the end. And the latest addition to my collection is the big old 14 inch bull nose butcher's knife. This thing is an absolute beast because you never know when you're gonna need one of these. My favorite part about Dow Strong is the knives come out of the box incredibly sharp and they all come with blade covers, which is super convenient, especially if you're traveling around a lot. These will protect your blades and make life a lot safer. So if you're in the market to get some new knives or you're just starting out, head over to dowstrong.com slash chuds barbecue. Get a 120 day money back guarantee as well as a lifetime warranty against defect. That's dowstrong.com slash chuds bbq and get yourself one of these. Thank you Dow Strong. These are some boneless beef ribs. Ooh. And unlike the beef plate ribs that we see, the big dino ribs, these are actually beef chuck ribs, which means they're a little bit closer to the shoulder, which should mean, in theory, they're a little bit tougher, which in our circumstances means more tender. Weird how that works. But these are USDA choice, and you can tell they've got some really nice marbling to them, and they're already stripped up. So using my gigantic sword here, I'm just gonna cube these up into some bite-sized pieces. Now that's sharp. And you can make these as big or as small as you like. Oh man, makes quick work of a task like this. I tell you what, I need to get a belt holster for this thing, but that's looking pretty good to me. So into a container they go. For our rub today, we're going in with two part 16 mesh black pepper and one part Lowry seasoning salt. This ought to work out really well because the Lowry has a really nice savory note with the onion and garlic. And it's also got some sugar in there, which should help these burn ends get extra barky, get some really good color on them. And since my ultimate Texas brisket video, I've got a lot of Lowry's floating around, so I'm trying to burn through it. But simply enough, we're gonna go on here nice and heavy because this is two parts pepper. I'm not too concerned about over salting anything. So want a nice heavy coating. Start building that bark up already. And whatever sticks, will stick. And that is looking just about perfect to me. And to make life a little bit easier transportation wise, I'm gonna throw these all on a wire rack, just like I did in the Chuck Burn Ends video. That way I don't have to do all this maneuvering to flip them over, things like that. Also because they're on a rack, it will get smoke all the way around, so we shouldn't have to flip them over at all. Mm, smelling good already. Beautiful. Let's fire up the pit. Good Lord. There's a snake in my boot. to the smoker these little nuggets go for the next probably three or four hours we're just trying to get a good bark on there cook them all the way through render some of that fat and i'm not going to spritz them or mop them or anything like that we're going to just keep them classic today go for that nice barky bite that nice texas style burn-in that i'm all about so we're gonna pop these on we'll check back in in a few hours gonna be cooking right around 250 275 for the majority of this cook we are about three hours into this cook and these little nuggets of joy are looking real good. Nice and barky, fully cooked. All that rub has set on there real nicely and they're all reading well over 200 degrees internal temp. And while they may look delicious, ow, no, that's hot. They are still really tough like any other burn end that we do in this style. So at this point, you got a few options. You can throw it in a pan with some sauce. Some people throw it in with some butter, but you know me on this channel, we're going in with some beef tallow. 
And the towel is just gonna help everything finish cooking. It's gonna tenderize it really quickly while maintaining that beefy flavor. We're not gonna dilute it at all. And that crust is so thick on there that it will stay nice and barky, even though it's completely soaked in fat. So we want these pretty much submerged. This is looking pretty perfect to me. So now I'm gonna pop a lid on these and back on the smoker they go at the same temp. It'll probably only take another hour or two and they should be fall apart tender. About four hours later, these are coming off the pit and they are looking pretty good. That bark held up really well, feeling nice and tender. You just break these apart. Mm. But to be honest, I'd like to let them go a little bit longer just to get even more tender. Let this connective tissue in there break down a little bit more. Oh, I'm sorry, come here, PP. But to be completely honest, it's pretty late at night right now. So what I'm gonna do is pop these in my oven, probably around 180 degrees, and we're gonna pick back up in the morning. One optional overnight corn fee later, and these bad Larrys are coming out of the oven. I strained all the beef towel out of here, and I sent it through a strainer, and I'm definitely gonna use it again for something else. It's just smoky, black pepper-infused beef towel now, so probably make some tortillas with it. But these little guys are looking real nice, very tender. Just wanna pull right apart. And they are very reminiscent of the chuck roast burn ends we did a while back. I mean, which makes sense because this is a chuck rib after all. Mm, unbelievably beefy. And it's usually at this stage, I'd call them done. Just get a little bowl of sauce and start dipping. I really like this extra barky style of burn end. Perfect little party snack. But today we're gonna sauce them up with some Leroy Lewis beet barbecue sauce. So I'm just gonna go in here, toss them around a little bit. And now it's really the ultimate party snack. Throw some toothpicks in there, set them out. But to set this glaze a little bit, I'm gonna toss them back on the pit for just a few minutes. Also, shout out to Scotty Barb of Scotty's Whole Hog Barbecue. Thanks for sending me that boot snake clip earlier with you and your son. Much appreciated. And if you wanna get your very own boot snake clip on this channel, all you need to do is head over to chudsbarbecue.com, pick up your very own limited edition boot snake hat, and send your best boot snake clip to brad at chudsbarbecue.com, and you'll have a chance of being in one of my videos. I tell you what, folks, next time you're having a party, you gotta whip up a bunch of these. Ooh, don't mind if I do. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Sweet, savory, smoky, barky, fatty. <laughs> what more do you need? I bet these would go great in a taco, too. Sticky, all that connective tissue is really doing its job. Not nearly as sticky and tender as the beef cheek burn ends, but probably the beefiest of all the burn ends I've made so far. I'll probably shred this up and make some barbacoa out of it, too. Mm hmm. Never get sick of making burn end videos. <coughs> All right, y'all, that is it. That is how to make yet another rendition of some delicious beef burn ends with a cut other than brisket. I highly recommend giving this one a try. Boneless beef short rib is pretty easy to find and comes out super tasty. But if you enjoyed this video, let me know by hitting that subscribe button. Let me know down in the comments below what you want to see me cook next. Big shout out to all the Patreon members. Thank you for supporting Team Chud and allowing me to keep making these videos. Get your ridiculous giant foam cowboy hats now at chudsbbq.com. And until the next time I see you, please go cook something outside. Peace.